We're going to learn about using Jinja 2 with Fast API. This video is just to introduce Jinja 2, and we're just going to show a simple example of how we can use Jinja 2 and Fast API. Jinja 2 is a templating language which is based on Python. It's mainly just for Python. Jinja 2 is for our front end, what we're going to display, and our back end is Python, which we're doing all our functionalities and where our logic is placed. I'm I am going to do a little bit of HTML with Jinja 2 templates. So you do not need to know Jinja 2 templates initially, nor HTML. We're not going to do that much. HTML will help though, if you know it. We will not use CSS or JavaScript, which is also used for front end purposes like design interactivity. But enough talking and let's begin. So to begin with, we need to do our normal code we always do. So let us let us import fast API. And then make our instance of fast API. Now we're going to do more importing things. So we're neat we're gonna have to import certain things in order for our Jinja 2 to work so we can interact with our back end. First we need to import Jinja 2 and then we need to import UV corn because I forgot to import UV corn. You should always import UV corn when you start your project. I just forgot to import it this time. So you, um, I'm just going to stress this part. Jinja 2 is what you're mainly supposed to import. Because Jinja 2 is going to install our templates and make sure that it will interact from a back end to front end. So now we need to create a directory for where our HTML is or where our templates are. So in order to do that, we have to do mkdir templates to make sure it's there. We have our templates folder. We need to cd into our templates. I mean cd templates. Oh, sorry again. And then we have to touch, create a file. For Windows PowerShell, I believe it's ni instead. And let us name it index.html. Now we're just going to keep that there for um for later and we're just gonna do C dot dot. Now the importing. First we need to import request. Our request is mainly for our path operations. It will return our template. Our path operation is our get or add app but get and things like that. We need to send a request and we need to return the template or values of which we are displaying. Then we have to import from fast API dot, res dot, dot responses import HTML response. So our HTML response is going to send our response as HTML. Then we have to do from fast API dot templating import Jinja two templates. What it, it what this is going to do is we need to render our templates to show our templates from a template response. So now we have to connect our templates. So templates is equal to our Jinja2 templates. Now we're going to connect this to our backend. 
in a directory is a directory just made where we are storing your HTML file and where the templates are going to link, and that is templates. Now I'm going to show you a very simple example just to start out, and then we're going to do a little bit of a larger example after this. So we do adapt.get, and then this is also um, similar to the example from the fast API documentation. So we're just going to create a URL and we're going to name it, let's name something creative, we're just going to name it a book. So we're just going to record our book and we're going to, we're going to show our, our ID. And then we're going to do response class is equal to our HTML response. And then async def, we're going to read our book and then our request, then our ID is going to be an integer. And then we have to return our templates dot template response and that is going to be in our index.html and then inside these brackets we're going to put request and then our id now this is a very similar example on the fast api documentation i'm just putting it on here to show then we need to go to our html so let us go to our HTML um, file. I'm going to do HTML in here. So we do HTML, HTML. And then we're going to do head. And we can just, what we're going to do is put our title. And we're just going to say book number. And what is going to what's going to happen is we can put our Jinja inside here with a certain syntax. So inside our body tag, so I don't have to worry about the meaning. Your head is basically our head, and your body is just like the content in basic terms. What we're going to do is I'm going to make an H1, and I'm just going to name this okay book number, and then on the next one. In H4, I'm going to just put the book number is ID. This special syntax right here is our Jinja templates. And maybe we can also put it to right here too. So when we run this, we do ubicorn main minus minus reload let us go down and let's go to localhost 8000 we go to book and then one and we see book number one and we also put the ginger template up here you can see that it, it is working correctly as we can put one we can put any num well, most numbers you want Three. And we're just going to test this out on the dock. We can try this out. We can put, okay, zero. And it's going to show the response. Our HTML response is going to be like this. We'll show what the HTML is like. We can see that instead of our Jinja, we have our value. It's representing our values.